What's up guys, this is Sean Dunn and today we are in Akasa Chara South. Let's go! We are in this part of land right where they have kind of uh, identity crisis uh, because some call it Sri Kemangan, some call it Balakong, some call it uh, Serdang, some call it Cheras South, which is a lot of names. And what you can see is that's the location of the site. But before that, we are going to check out the show unit first. And based on all the cars here, right, it's as if I'm going to do a car review. <laughs> This should be the Silk Highway and there's 10 acres of freehold land here divided into 4.5 acres of commercial lots and 5.5 acres of what we call the Akasa building. And in this Akasa building, within this 5.5 acres, there's 998 units. And you just check out the facilities in the center. So first of all, what's very cool is that they are also introducing something called the Sandy Beach facilities. And many may be like very skeptical about sandy beach facilities, right? But it's not the first one. It's the first one in Cheras, lah, definitely. But there's one in Kuchai Lama and there's one that's actually done in Sunway before. And this will be the level seven, the facilities, right? And you can see that there's abundance. But the pattern is almost similar where you can have the gym, the pools, but this one it's a bit different. So right opposite the sandy beach area, you still have the conventional swimming pool area. And what's gonna happen is you have your gym actually overlooking over to the swimming pool and from the other side you can see that it's the open communal and function room where people can actually organize birthday parties so a poolside party is still possible so if you come to the sales gallery and if you're confused about the scale right always do check where they have human figures and just imagine yourself being in this area la. so this 15,000 beach side which actually next to your maintenance office and your laundry la. these are actually garden units and behind them, these areas right, are their own private garden areas. Lah. And this track is circulating around the whole building. And that acts as a jogging pathway. Lah. Besides level 7, at the rooftop, you also have facilities where this is the sky lounge of Tower A. And the garden, and then we move on to Tower B. That's when you thought badminton court is cool. Rooftop badminton court is even way cooler. Right, and then the Tower C which will be the quiet and more serene type of facilities where you have the study rooms, the lounge and etc. So just a little bit of context right where we are. So this is the Best Raya Highway. Okay, and this is the Cheras Kajang Highway. And this is this stretch right of Silk Highway that is actually quite peculiar. So this area again, we are right here. And we are overlooking the site which is just right opposite. Right? And this stretch from the mines and over to this right has a very interesting topography along this stretch which we'll go and check out later but their main selling point is definitely this uh, the Bandar Tun Hussein on MRT station Shiraz MRT station and Tupun MRT station right at the stretch of this piece of land that's Tower B, Tower C and Tower A right so today we'll be focusing on Tower B which is Type C so this is 1155 square feet and per square feet is around 180 ringgit per square feet lah. so this is the current layout and when you go in the entrance so you have your kitchen your dining and your living straight up and every unit here there's a balcony and their selling point that they mentioned is actually this wing at the balcony where it actually encourages more privacy among different units lah. okay going through the corridor you have three bedrooms so the master bedroom actually have this closet space before going into the bathroom and what is actually special is actually this small little pocket here you can see so that can be either your wine cellar or your storeroom or your rack for your shoes or toys collection okay and they have a common bathroom here shared by the guests and the two bedrooms going back to the kitchen you have a utility room as well as your yard okay so that's all for the drawing let's go and check out the real one living and then your balcony right on your right will be the island and the kitchen space but just right before we continue right there's a unfortunate 
claims where because this is only a show unit now whatever you see right it's definitely not what you will get including the kitchen as well so whatever you see behind right is only for reference but they are currently launching some promo where it's actually giving furnishings and let's continue the tour so you have your kitchen here and your wet kitchen here and uh, again what you need to check now is not whatever material it is but the length of the countertop la. Whatever space that is actually provided that can accommodate whatever your needs are for cabinetries and fridge and furniture la. Right, after that you will have your yard space which I find it's very very huge So there's also a suggestion where you can actually use this extra large space right to put on your wet kitchen la. This one for Malaysian housewife where got enough right I want to do my tua cha ma, right? So I can actually build outside. I can just use a glass door here. It will be very, very nice. Okay, so this is your washing machine area and this is the utility room. Moving on to the dining as well as the living. Let's go check out the balcony. Okay, in show units, right, where you cannot really tell the actual finishing and the actual condition of it, right? The only things that you can check is dimensions and the base spec. Base spec means like flooring in the balcony, right? Then the floor trap location. Then there are treatments to all this. These are the things that they must use the original material. So you need to only kick in your nature sense, right? And this wing wall, if you can see this wing wall, this wing wall is actually one of their selling points as well. you cannot really check now what are the materials all needs to be out of your mind unless you are going for the fully furnished package that they are providing right now what you should really focus on is only like what size is this sofa and how it will actually look like after you place all these furnitures in the saying is this the place will look small if it's empty but once you put furnitures right it will actually look bigger but the key is the right size of furniture so part of the base pack to check will be the location the height of the socket which is 1.5 meters suitable for kids, adults as well as people on wheelchair very friendly and this is your corridor to your bedroom uh. and what I like is the width of it where a wheelchair can actually still go in very very comfortably and from the corridor space you have this pocket space where I think it's amazing though because if you just punch in a little bit you create this very nice space to accommodate a lot of things you can either be your hobby space where you can put glass then put all your Iron Man, your sports shoe, your Jordans, whatsoever or you can just be another space for storage while the storage room can be your mate's room and next to this will be the first bedroom, let's go check it out so for bedrooms, the few things to check is uh, you first imagine the bed in, so this is a queen size bed after you put in a queen size bed, right? how much more circulation space that you can actually have Right. Number two, the windows. So what kind of size of windows that they are providing along with the ceiling height which is 10 feet right here. But what I really like here right, is they actually build up whatever condition that you will actually see on site. So this is not a decorative curb right. But this is the beam that is going to happen within your actual site at the unit. Nice. Moving on to the second bedroom, they use it as a kids room where you can see that small slit of window you can put in your furniture and then it becomes a reading corner, right? And this will be your kids bed and stuff like that. And you can also imagine that if this is a queen size bed, like, can it still fit? It will be quite some bit like, to be honest. Coming up, there will be your master bedroom as well as the bathroom, the common bathroom. Everything will be provided always that like, they don't want to provide this so do check on whatever package that you purchase and right, what is given to be very clearly exactly accurate right chun chun right? full specs full height just like the aria one which is very amazing i like the ventilation moving on to the master bedroom of course with all the led lightings and things like that right your emotions will just get kicked in the key is to actually be really objective into base specs okay which is the flooring material skirting material window size ceiling height okay are these provided most probably not you have this walk-in wardrobe which i think all wives will be very happy 
Then the toilet, which is amazing, right? Their toilets is really something though. Okay, again Johnson Swiss, Johnson Swiss very similar to their common space, just that it's a little bit wider. So as this is a show unit, a lot of things that you can't really tell. Just like what we mentioned before is the common areas such as the corridor with height, the lift lobbies, the condition of the facility deck, the security measures and etc. Right? All those are somewhat like a guess or a bet. But that risk right, can actually be mitigated based on the previous projects of the developer. So if you look into Hapsing Land, like we went to Aria together before, and the build quality is seriously no joke. Lah. So question like, are they using the same contractors? Is it the same architect and development team? The answer is yes. And since we have some time, let's go around that stretch of Silk Highway. Because if you look into the, the collaterals, right, they emphasize on that stretch of Silk Highway from Mines to Aeon Cheraslatan. What they are trying to say is, just based on that stretch, you can have everything you need from international school, medical centers, place to eat, schools, public transport, and etc. Let's go check it out. Now we are at the mines, and you can really see that after you key off from Sungai Besi, right? The entrance is not as pleasant because there's like three junctions, one to mines, one to mines two, and one is to actually go straight, and another one is to actually go to Kajang. This junction here is really just surrounded by a lot of lakes. Lah. So on this side, you have all the very, very high-end individual title, the self-built bungalows. Also, behind the Huayang building will be another lake, and that is where the Australian International School is. Lah. So just a junction away from the very high-end area, you have this back down to earth kind of living we have the terrace houses and the townhouses you can see those are the townhouses right next to these commercial areas okay so that's the silk highway right and you can see it's very very busy and it can get quite noisy la. judging by the number of cars and the car park lot right this is one of the main areas for people to actually have their commercial activities where you have the Kopitiam, the Dobi, right? some noodle shop, then some fast food joints which is cool, some banks as well. So what you guys are seeing right now is the actual site of Akasa and this is the Silk Highway and what you are seeing now is the commercial buildings in front which is the 4x5 acres one right? And then this is the shopping complex. But what you can't really see from the model is actually the neighboring lots, which is the Symphony as well as Amarine. Okay, but it might look quite dense here right now. But because of the commercial lot, will actually all complement each other in the future. The entire stretch of Silk Highway, right? This is one of the only pockets, right, where you have all the high-rise land. So it's actually zoned like that. So it can get quite overwhelming with all these numbers of uh, buildings right here. In continuation, along the Silk Highway again, you will pass by Columbia Hospital as well as Aeon Cheraslatan. And when you turn behind, right, this is what they call a trader's garden commercial area like, where it's all full flat shop offices, which is the area you can actually observe populations. Like, so you, it's really, really a lot of people. So as we discussed before, right, there are levels of sophistication to a commercial area where you start with the mama, the barbers, the grocers, right? But in this area, you can see that it's a tuition center, a lot, I mean a lot of F&B areas. And that seems to be the secret of a success for a commercial area. Because for Malaysians, right, it is the most important thing. So you see in this junction alone, you have one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. There's like seven bubble tea stores already. So it means that at tonight, right? This is just gonna be super packed with youngsters. And you can also tell based on the services that is provided here, which is like nails, hair salon, and things like that, which is more service and appointment based. Right? Okay, so I guess that's all for the stretch 
it's now time for Sean take three on three. Three things I really like. Number one, definitely will be the brand because the brand actually comes with the assurance of build quality. And, and we have visited Aria before, which is remarkable in terms of build quality and design and things like that. So I think the internal spaces will also reflect that quality. So for apartments, right, I think based on the unit layout, there's nothing much that can be different besides the density, privacy and all, right? The main the main main differentiator will be the facility deck and you can see that that's actually the emphasis of Akasa as well if you look into the center 150,000 square feet just for facilities not one but two pool that might create some height level. number two what I really like would be the convenience so the convenience here is along this stretch that short stretch of silk highway in between the mines and Aeon Chara Selatan. You can see here, it's rather interesting because of topography, right? You range from empty land, raw, bare land, right? Where they just put the trailers and construction vehicles, right? Then you have small factories, humongous factories, hospitals, malls, commercial areas, international school, college, and etc. So as was suggested by the diagram itself, right? There's a lot of U-turns, right? Those U-turns actually suggest that just by staying in this stretch of the Silk Highway, everything is already sufficient just in case that's not enough right at the end of the seat highway right you have the accessibility to mrts already last of all would be the unit layout i like the unit layout because of the emphasis on storage area so they actually hollow out in the corridor right to actually provide more storage area they have a utility room for more storage area and the yard space also somewhat becomes a storage space if you don't know how to use that so those amount of back of house scale to sizes right it's just amazing instead of people focusing a lot on living la dining la master bedroom all those hero spaces right they choose to also emphasize a lot on the back of house which i think it's very good three things i don't like number one would definitely be the concentrated part of residence that you can see that three buildings right side by side high rises are all together so in that simple 20 acres that's like 3,000 to 5,000 units side by side but of course if you look into the drone shot right, along the whole stretch of land the concentration of building is just there la. number two will actually be the immediate surrounding which is those community housing as well as the land for machineries not as pleasant the views that you can get is actually quite flat because the surrounding is actually flat land but actually divided by mountains in the far end. Plus, if you want to reach home, right, you need to make a quick U-turn at the side. So that also not very pleasant because it's right at the main road, right? So you just come up. And this stretch of Silk Highway is very weird because I think it's one of the highways that has the most, I mean the most small junctions out of this highway. That's why this might actually result in traffic congestion as well. So the last point will actually be the price. Like if you really look into price and compare with the surrounding, this project is actually one of the highly priced one. And uh, I guess they have their reasons because they have their reputation and brand to take care of and that also is the only factor right that buyers can actually hold on to when you hope for the project to be completed. Like, there's nothing much you can see from the gallery. The only way to check is to actually look into the past projects of the developer. So I guess that's all for this episode guys. So in this review right, what's different is actually we go out and see that stretch of Silk Highway and what do I think of it? I kind of like it though because this is a Chinese area like Balakong or Chir Selatan or Sri Kembangan or Serdang, whatever you call it, right? This place is accurate for all those names. That also reflects in the connectivity of this area as well. So, in whatever direction you go, you can hit KL this way, you can hit PJ this way, Puchong this way, Serdang this way, Kajang this way, and this is in between those areas. That's why the very confused identity lah. so i think that's all for this episode if you really like this video like it share it and even subscribe for more information like this until next time this is sean tan ciao